Nelson, volume one. Nelson's cannons never tire as she pounds Morganas to scraps and buffins. That's the way, lads. For God in our country. Nelson, what are you shouting at? Or what are you shooting at? Have you spotted Morganas? Ever finished ship shape, Captain? Nothing to report. Then why are your guns firing? Ah, well, I have to make sure they're in tip-top shape, don't I? Very well, carry on then. I'll inform you next time. We are trying not to att attract attention out here, Nelson. I do love seeing the big guns fire. Gives the fleet a show, eh. Of course, sir. Uh, my apologies for the disruption. But I assure you it's worth it. Delay that, Nelson. We've got approaching Morganas. Looks like you've attracted some attention. It's damn good of them to come when they're cold, all told. We'll have to reward them by making this quick. Battle stations, lads. We've got enemies incoming. Everything squared away properly after that last battle, Nelson? Sound as a pound, Captain. I'm having a tad bit of trouble with Minnie, but I think she was just jealous of all the attention Mickey was receiving. I'm sorry, what? Ah, I mean one of the guns had a bit of sighting issues, only because it was the last one we were ranging when the attack came. You named your guns? You named your guns after cartoon characters? You named your guns after American children's cartoon characters? Walt Disney is a visionary. His cartoons are a masterpiece of cinema. Very well, carry on then, I suppose. Of course, sir. And we'll have Minnie straightened out in two ticks. Nelson, where are you? We're, repair we're preparing an attack and I'd like your insight. I'll be a captain. Be down shortly. There you are. What's that? Are you writing a letter? Spot on, captain. I was just keeping my sister Rodney, Rudy, Rudney, Rodney abreast of our travels and of the things we've seen. I see. Go ahead and finish your letter. The walk can wait a few minutes. Rodney can wait until after we've for after we're through planning it. It should not take long. We have a war to win here, Nelson. And I need you focused on it. My apologies, Captain. I assure you you won't catch me writing letters while on duty again. Very well then. That's the alarm. I suppose we will all have to wait, hmm? Yes, yes. Now get to your stations. We have a battle to fight. On my way. That took lo That took longer than I was anticipating. But I feel it was a productive strategy meeting. I'm always thrilled to share my expertise with the fleet, for the good of the cause.
Not that. Any not that anyone else could get a word in edgewise. And I think we're all happy to have such a resolute voice at the table. What part of your illustrious history did you receive those tactics from then? Please, I am intimately familiar with the works of the greatest admiral in all of naval history. Did you think my namesake was merely a coincidence? I suppose that's fair. Still, the tactics are dynamic, and I think they gave us a good chance of victory. I can guarantee splitting the enemy fleet is the right choice. I know how to gamble on short odds. That may not be reassuring a statement as you meant it to be, Nelson. Ah, uh, but it's me saying it, Captain. And besides, I'm sure you'll get the opportunity to test my plans in short order. There's the alarm. I suppose you're right. The BF are always so obliging, aren't they, Captain? Battle stations, lads. We've got enemies incoming. Nelson, why are your guns still firing? Is something wrong? No, Captain. No problem here. Thank you for asking. Okay, so I repeat the question. Why are your guns still firing? What exactly are you shooting? Uh, what exactly are you shooting at? Why, Captain? That's just a bit of high spirits among the crew. High spirits? We've talked about this, Nelson. If you must know, I lost a bet with the quartermaster. Since I have no real money of my own. He generously allowed me to to exchange his marker for a turn of firing the main guns. I can't believe you're gambling at a time like this. You need to take your duties more seriously. Remember what happened the last time you fired your guns without cause? You're going to attract another battle, and we just finished fighting. Save me at the seat of the t save me a seat at the table next time. There's a game, will you? Oh no, what did I get myself into now? Still, at the very least, I'd rather we not waste ammunition, if at all possible. Please limit unnecessary use of guns. Alright, alright. Captain, I have a message for the fleet. Of course, Nelson. Something important, I trust? Of the, low, of the utmost, my captain. I'm going to hold a screening in my gun room. Mess dress, ex mess dress expected, of course. Is it really worth broadcasting to the fleet? Such frivolities have no place in, this, in a time of war. That sounds like a pleasant diversion for this terrible war. Of course, Captain. We are all one, one purpose against these vile Morganas. So we have the un. So we, yeah, so we must have unity. Very well, you've convinced me. Make the announcement. Captain Morgana sight. Morgana sighted off the starboard side. Well, it seems the radio is in use at the moment. I suppose we'll have to, I suppose I'll have to make my announcement until later. Or I suppose I'll wait to make my announcement until later. That sounds wise. Nelson, what are you doing in the wardroom? I need you down on the deck, supervising the gun crews. Oh no, I'm sure the lads are fine. I have every faith in them. 
I'm shocked. I never thought I'd see the day I, you didn't take personal responsibility for your guns. It's not so strange, really. The crew are very well trained, and I keep an eye on them from up here and all, after all. Eyes ready. Be right there with your slice, Lady Nelson. Neglecting your duties for pie, Nelson? This why you scheduled deck cleaning for the hall up for the hold up in the wardroom. Can I have a slice of that? It smells delicious. Absolutely. But only after I get mine. It's sure a pie is to die for. Here you go, Lady Nelson. And another slice for the captain. Anything else I can? Is that the alarm? Looks like Pi will have to wait. <laughs> Keep the rest of it warm for me. I'll be back after I set these monsters straight to hell. I have to say, Nelson, your strategies are proving to be very effective. Of course, Captain. They won the day at the Battle of Terragriff. Or Trafalgar, and divided and conquered, has been military dogma for millennia. Fair enough. I've communicated it to the other fleets, and they're all reporting an increasing success in success against the Morganas. They're no different from any other enemies, really. If you push them hard enough, they'll topple. Well, your tactics are certainly being validated. I like it. You've been on the defensive for too long. I've heard the same thing about you, you know. I knew you were a stand-up sort, Captain. Not content to take any things the way they are. Hold that thought. It sounds like we have another opportunity to test your tactics. We do not test them, Captain. We are perfecting them. All set for your movie night? Steady on. We still need to make sure the guest list and prepare visuals suitable for the theme. I wonder where we can get the apples in this time of year. Apples? What do you need that with apples? For the crew. I thought it would be brilliant if we could get them an apple. Each. Especially since we're going to have a dual screening in the wardroom and the gun and the gun room. It was hard enough getting a second print. I need you to explain the apple business. And why this idea has you so enthralled. For Snow White. I don't want to bulge this. I don't want to bulge this one up. Yeah. For Snow White. I don't want to. But. But. Yeah, but <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> for Snow White. I don't want to bulge this one. Men for all over the fleet will be here. You really like Disney's work, don't you? That's the movie you picked? I was hoping for something a little more exciting. An excellent choice. That will really liven up the spirits of the men. The man is a visionary, and his work is champion. You better not bunk off on me for for this one. Now, I just need to see the quartermaster about laying hands on a few bristles of apples. That's the alarm. So we'll have to wait. There you are. Where have you been all this time, Nelson? You missed the strategy meeting. Chapel, of course. It was time for my morning prayer. Prayer? How does that work? I didn't know you were religious. We don't have time for that. There's a war on. Of course. How could anyone look at the miracles, miracles in this world and not be believe? 
look, we have more pressing issues. The Morganas are starting. To adapt to our tactics, I know. Are starting to adapt to our tactics, I know. Why do you think I went long for divine inspiration? Revolutionary thinking is only revolutionary for so long. Oh, that's the alarm. What do you propose we do instead? Uh, well, that's the alarm. What do you propose we do instead? Let me actually aggro this battle. And we'll see if we can come up with some new plans to reduce the pallet, the pillocks to a load of blue, uh, to a load of old boffins. Battle stations, lads. We've got enemies incoming. Well, that was rough for everyone. Did you come up with any new ideas? No, Captain, I haven't. They're adapting faster than I expected. And I don't know how to counter it. I'm sure you'll think of something. And remember, we're all in this together. Yes, but it's my tactics they're countering. And my tactics, they've gone belly up. Now you have it in it to help us through this. Why don't you take some time to focus on the movies, showing? Perhaps your favourite film will provide some inspiration. Maybe if you spend more time in prayer, the idea will come to you. Just keep throwing yourself into the fight. The more time you spend up and close and personal with the enemy, the more time you'll learn. The more you'll learn. Thank you, Captain. I know I'm winging a bit. Perhaps aiming my attention at something else for a while will open my mind to new ideas. Glad I can help. I'm sure you'll figure it out, Nelson. Thank you, Captain. How's the planning coming along for the film showing, Nelson? Oh, good. Only I've hit a bit of a snag, if I'm honest. What kind of snag? Anything I can help with? Oh no, it's nothing to trouble yourself over. Just a bit of a flutter. And now the apples are a bit out of reach. A bit of a flutter? Oh, I was just having a hand of cards with the quartermaster. And he may now have the apples along with a few bits and bobs. I can't believe you are gambling again. And with your precious apples, no less. Let me sit on on the game next time. I'll get your apples back. I'll have a word with the quartermaster about this. You need to be more responsible with this sort of thing. How do you expect to help the fleet if you can't even keep hold of your own supplies? I'll deal with this. That's the threat, Captain. We'll show him what's what. Hear that? We have to take care of this later. Morganas are incoming. How are you doing, Nelson? Any tactic insights yet? Not yet, Captain. But God and my country are with me. I'm keeping my chin up. That's good. At least we appreciate knowing you're keeping in good spirits. Always, Captain. It's not always easy, though. I can't turn a blind eye to the trouble we're all having. No, Nelson. What, Captain? I have a question I've been meaning to ask you. Ask it then. I always have to do my part to assist the fleet. I think it's more of a personal question. How does Abel come to be a Christian? Don't you think it's a bit odd that Bells believe in God? Do you really think you should be spending your time in prayer when there are ta when there are more pressing matters of things to do? Think that as long as I can continue to perform my duties, I can spend my leisure time however I please. I can accept that. Now, if you don't mind, we're heading towards another Morgana sighting. Get ready for a fight, Captain. There you are. I have something I'd like to discuss with you, if you have a moment. Oh, what can I do for you this time, Nelson? Please, call me Nelly, Captain. I need to ask a favour of you. 
All right, Nelly. Is this about a new strategy? Not exactly. But it's not too far off. Any road, I need you to call Bagsy on a couple of good seats when the showing starts. That's it. You need me to make sure you have a good seat for the film showing? Of course, Lady Nelly. I'll make sure you have the best seats in the house. It's a deal. Only if you make sure I get first pick of the refreshments. That's a swiss and no mistake, Captain. But I'll take it. Just make sure to get the best seat. It's a deal, then. I'll be waiting for you in the wardroom when the film starts. Brilliant, Captain. But it's all tickly-boo now. Wish I could have sorted everything out so easily. There's the alarm. Well, let's see let's see now how you sort this out. There you are, Nelly. Writing another letter. I don't think anyone would object if I used my personal time to pen a letter to Rod to Rodney. Not at all. I didn't mean to ask. I did mean to ask. Are you writing her a letter when you could simply radio her next time you're nearby? Oh, the radio is just imp just so impersonal, Captain. I don't know how... And who knows who could be listening. I suppose that makes sense. An odd, an odd pastime, but not the oddest. Ah. You've twigged it now. And, of course, that means it's there in case. In case of what? I never figured you'd be for you for a cryptic, Nelly. Go on, you can't stop in the middle of a sentence like that. Would you just tell me already? I don't have time to sit here and guess. I can do whatever I want. The letters are there for Rodney if something happens to me. That's the reason that's reasonable and pragmatic. And there's the alarm. I know, Captain. It's a bit morbid, though, isn't it? Still, I'm hoping it's unnecessary all the same. Archer, Captain. Looking for that leftover pie the cook sashed in the galley. Eh, you caught me, Nelly. And it looks like I caught you. It's my personal time. I can have brown ale. I can have a brown ale or two if I like. By all means, far be it for me to regulate how you spend all of spend your off time. Only if you share one with me. Never turn down a chance for a nail. Ah, I always figured you for a rum lady, or maybe a brandy aficionado. Cheers, Captain. Glad to know I don't need your permission to get chuffed. Any road, Captain? What did you come to find me for? I know it wasn't just so you, just that you could get a nose, for, nose for vitties, or nose for vittles. True enough. I came, to, I came to see how your preparations for the film showings were coming along. Champion captain, it's all coming together. The court, qua, court bleh, the quartermaster made a complete vault faced, and came up with a few crates of apples. You're welcome for that. He's a man who needs to work on his tells a bit a bit more if he wants to keep playing poker without losing his shirt. I had a feeling that was your doing, Captain. Oh, there's the alarm. But don't I show my appreciations on the battle battlefield? You're alright, Nelly. You've looked pen you looked pensive since the last skirmish with the Morganas. I can't pin it, Captain. The, BF the BF are getting canny. And I just know they're getting wise to our tactics. I've tried to change it up a little. But if they can still play if they can if but if they're still play acting like they're falling for our tactics, then they have to be up on they have to be up to something. 
You're right. I'll inform the fleet to be on their guard. We've had some tough fights, but they should be they should have adapted by now. What do you put what do you propose we do? Prepare for the inevitable? You had better come up with some new tactics then, and soon. I'm not worried. When the order's foot fails, we just have to steam out out of the way. Wish I was much of an optimist as you, Captain. Or as much as a bloody blurk. That's the spirit, Nelly. Or rather, you're the spirit. You're a blooming git, Captain. And now this whole mess is starting to quell, quite, uh, smell quite off to me. Me too. We don't have many other choices, do we? By God, we will do our duty. We have the backbone, we just need to stick with it. And there's the alarm, right on cue. Captain, I need your help figuring out how to schedule the showing. The fleet's all higgly piglet. Higgle <laughs> Higgledy piggledy. Alright. I'm gonna help with that. I can't exactly order everyone to co to coverage for f yeah, for a film night. I'm sure you could, but rather, I'd like to have a look at the tactical plans. I could probably guess where we're most likely to see the BF pop up. That way, I can plan the showing for one of the safer stretches. That's a smart plan. I'll get you those maps right away. Why haven't you been putting this talent to use for the fleets this whole time? I'm happy to know we'll get to see the film in uninterrupted. It seems like it's very important to you. This is a nice thing you're doing for the crew, Nelly. I'm sure they'll all appreciate it. Things always run easy peasy when you've got a happy crew aboard. Carry on then, Nelly. I have faith in you and this endeavour of yours. Ah, Captain. You know how to make a lady feel special. Now, I sense there's a Morgana around here, so let's give her the trouble. Ellie, you're certainly looking pretty happy this morning. Take it things are looking up. Spot on, Captain. I have an idea brewing of how we might be able to deal with the BF, deciphering our tactics. It can't come soon enough. We're taking a pounding out there. I think I'm on the cusp of cracking this idea open. I just need a little more time, I think. That's good, but we don't really have time in abundance. You've had better. I'm not sure how much longer we can keep this up. Oh, you've had better. We're not sure how long we can keep this up. We'll buy you as much time as you need. I believe you can help us turn this war around. Thanks, Captain. That's encouraging to hear. I know, Nelly. We just have to hold it together long enough to make a difference. We can do it, Captain. My cannons never tire, if nothing else. We'll pound these proxy trollops to scrap and boffins. Darn right. Looks like you're going to get another chance right now. I see a shape on the horizon. A good and country. Show some backbone, lads. The enemy's upon us. How did we... Oh no, Captain, look at the fleet. They didn't realise how much damage we took. The ship's still afloat. What's the issue? Look at the crew. The Morganas were trying, weren't trying to sink us. They were trying to wound us. We need our medics. The decks. There was blood everywhere. I was caught up in the battle. I didn't see their goal. Captain, this whole bloody dog's breakfast is my fault. They were watching my tactics. They knew what to do. They knew what we'd do. Ellie, you can't blame yourself for what happened here today. This is war. You did everything you could for these men, and I know you'll do everything you can to make sure this doesn't happen again. We followed your tactics because it was the best plan we had. Now, we just need a new plan. We can't fall for the same trick twice. Honor our sacrifice and fight twice as hard next time. We'll make sure these men didn't die in vain. 
Thank you, Captain. I'll do my best to be worthy of the trust they placed in me and my hull. Next time, we'll destroy the BF before they can fire a shot. That's what I wanted to hear, Nelly. We can't let the darkness of war consume us. Not when we have much more, so much to be fighting for. I'm glad to see I'm rubbing off on you, Captain. Now, let's make sure the wounded are seen to. How are you holding together, Nelly? How is the crew? Holding together, Captain. We're keeping our chins up and battening down the hatchets for the coming storm. That's the most I can ask for. I'm glad to see you're not letting our losses stop you from moving forward. Pressing forward is what I do, Captain. You see my guns mountings? You total wally? Oh, you total wally? I'm not very well circling an issue. Good point. How does the return to our old tactics sit with you? I know we had some success with yours. It's fine. It's not perfect. But it spares us another bloodbath. Still, I just know my ideas will come together soon. And I'll have to cork her up a surprise for those scrubbers. I trust you have something good in the works. Can't wait to turn the tables on these monsters. It can't come soon enough. I prefer a di- Yeah. I prefer the dynamism of your tactics in these line battles. Just keep doing whatever you keeps you occupied. I need you in top shape for the battles to come. I'm still in the sharpest tactical mind we have. Very well. By the way, we are heading towards another reported Morgana sighting, so ready your men for battle. They're eager for it now, Captain. They have a score to settle. Are you ready for the film, Captain? I think I did a good job of turning the ward room in, and the gun room into a real cinema. You did an excellent job. It looks like word got around pretty well about this. Eh, yeah. The queue is almost wrapped around the bridge. I'm excited everyone... I'm excited everyone is going to love this film. I've been talking to the crew. They're all excited for, the little res for a little respite. You'll still be saving me a seat, yes? Absolutely, Nelly. But I don't want you to miss the production, especially after you put so much effort into it. How does it feel, watching all your hard work come into fruition? I'm still sceptical about this. Sceptical this will live up to the expectations you've set for us. I'm glad we have a break from this war a little for a little while. Cool. I'm proper chuffed. I can't believe it's finally happening. Oh, for the love of... I'll sink these whole slags... Nah. Oh, for the love of... I'll sink the whole slag heap if they keep this up. It's okay, Nelly. We'll push them back, then come and watch the film. No interruptions. But it's time to fight before we play. Show some backbone, crew. Send those blackguard pa blackguards packing. We're God in our country. We have a film night to get to. That was an excellent film, I must say. By the way, the crew cheered. And, uh, and the way the crew cheered, I could tell they really appreciated all the effort you put into this. Thank you, Captain. I'm really happy I was able to share something so special to me with the fleet. I'm just glad I was able to save you a seat, Nelly. It was pretty packed in there. Thanks for the food and drink. Thank you for that, Captain. It was the best seat in the house. So, what did you think? Feeling refreshed and happy? Any new ideas? So much pressure, Captain. You know she'd really be thankful I'm on your team. Don't be coy. What is it? I'm excited to turn things around out there. Yes, yes, we are very lucky. Now tell me what your idea is. It's about time you proved your worth. We put a lot of effort into making sure this went off without a hitch. Not just yet, Captain. I need to write up so ready up so the fleet can be prepared for the battle to come. Very well. Get those plans put together and we'll put them to test sooner as soon as we can. 
Now that I think the Morganas will keep us. Are you sure about this, Nelly? You're use, using yourself as bait is pretty dangerous. I know, Captain. But I have more power, firepower than they're ready for. Ah, I have more power than they're. I have more firepower than they're ready for. And they have plenty of frustrations to work off. Don't think they'll be suspicious that we went back to your tactics. If they don't go for it this time, I know the risks, Captain. But this will work. It's a worth the gamble. They've been hurt. They've been hurting us too much. I know. And those think we're getting desperate. Captain, it's time we ram the poison apple down the BS throat. Just be ready to come in and support me when I'm pinned that when I pin them down. You know you don't have to do this. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. I'm with you, Nelly. If this works, we'll break through these monsters here. Or at least give them the fight they won't soon forget. Don't worry, Nelly. We'll have your back. Ha! Huh. That's the ticket, Captain. I always feel safe as safe as houses when I know you're behind me in a fight. I'm glad to hear it, Nelly. Now go feed the Morganas that poison apple, Lady Witch. And you get your axe ready, Huntsman. Together, we'll rip these monsters' hearts out and put them to sleep forever. I still can't believe your plan worked, Nelson. Core. I knew I was right. The BF can't stand against the righteousness of our of our cause. And the thunder of our guns. Huh. Feels good to be on the attack again. I'm glad you stuck with it. Well, I did it. At least partially. Because I believe in you. I know you wouldn't have pushed me if I didn't think if you didn't think I could do it. That's a lot of faith in you have me, Nelly. You have in me, Nelly. I'm glad we proved neither of us misplaced our trust after all. No Barney there. I always knew you were a stand-up sort. That's what we have to to be against those monsters. Of course. This is just the beginning. We're going to need need to keep coming up with new counters because they're going to keep trying to break us. Inspiration comes wherever it strikes. We just have to bulge on bulge a tactic together and bash on regardless until we catch it. I can't think of a better comrade in arms to stand by to stand by my side as we bring the Morganas to their knees. Nelly, you inspire me, and by your leave, I would like to follow my muse to the end of the ocean. Aye.